Oh, there's a uh, soul and flounder in here. Let's see if we can spot them. Oh, there's a stingray over there. A couple stingrays. That's the uh, soul. Oh, the soul, the soul is tucked over here. Actually, no, that's the flounder. Filet of soul, one of my favorites. And this is the Lewis's moon snail. Oh, here comes the flounder. Look at this guy. The sideways fish. Yeah, both eyes on the left side of the head. Or maybe that's the right side. I'm not sure. I think it's the fan tail. Or they're sideways fish. <laughs> I think it's a side tail. Look at that thing going. I think it's a side tail. It has teeth. Yep. All right. Over here we got sand dollars. So these are live sand dollars. You may find their skeletons on the beach. They have was, little stars on them. I was fine. I think it was small. It's a mollusk. Sand. Or, uh, not a mollusk. What do you call it? A, a bivalve. That's a something like that. Look at the big, big, the big one over here. Yeah, those. That's those tubular anemone. Yeah. Right in here. He's living the, the bottom of the ocean, filtering the currents. And then over here, these are the brittle stars that you saw earlier. Look, these are all sea stars all over each other. They stick together, strength in numbers. And over here is the spotted cusk eel. Udon, well, I call it Udonki. <laughs> it's Japanese for eel. Oh, it buries itself in the sand, but it sticks its head out. You see, there's one head, two heads. This guy is all the way out of the sand. There's three of them in there. <laughs> cusk eels. All right. I have it upside down. Okay. Watch out, buddy. Let's see next time. The scale sided piddock. Tiny fishes. Never heard of it. A piddock. Piddock. Okay then. I guess that's this thing. They look like plants, but they're animals. This is the boring clam. Boring means digging. It makes little tunnels. You see, this is how it digs in to the sand, and then its neck goes up to the surface so that it breathes. A fringe head. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding very badly. That's the fringe head. He's got his tail turned up. He's, uh, that's a shy fish. Oh, there's his head over there. He doesn't want us to see him right now. <laughs> that's a shy fish. Okay. Let's look at these big fish again. another view of this part. 
the spiny dogfish. That's the, sp the spiny dogfish. The leopard sharks. Look at these fish chilling in there. There's a leopard shark. Leopard shark, very common in the bay. It's the one fish I see the most in the bay, is the, the leopard shark. Wow. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the wharf. So this is the stuff. Oh, you suck, man. Do you know him? I don't yes, know him. Yes, yes, yes. We always know he, he, he's trying to write me in. Yeah. We're in the aviary. Yeah, we're going to go up the elevator shortly. Let's have a look. What's in here? Carnivorous chitin and the snapping shrimp. Oh, that's it right there. It's kind of isopod, like like roly polies. Oh, and these little tiny shrimp. You can barely see them. And there's some snails up on the wall there. I'm not gonna uh, post it on YouTube anymore. <laughs> there's too much for them to watch. It's okay. I'm still filming. You just add it to me all Let's see the wharf over here. This was always one of my favorite things here at the. Monterey Aquarium, right up ahead here. The wharf. What the wharf looks like. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. Beep beep. Hey. Bye. Uh huh. Perches. Mojada. Mojada fish. More, more and more restaurants are serving mojada fish. <laughs> it's perch. Only they're, they're bigger than that when they, when they cook them. This is what the wharf looks like. Underneath. So all the pontoons, all the, the pier legs are just covered with life. We got mussels here, sea anemones, barnacles. Here's an urchin moving across the sand. And you see the perches swimming around. It's pretty small perches. I wonder if we can see any flatfish. Uh, the, the flatfish is in the back there. I think you can see it reflected in the mirror there. There's a flatfish. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, because it's dark underwater. If it was too bright in here, it would disturb the fish and they wouldn't behave naturally. That's why there's no flash photography in here. Here's more wharf. You can see all the garbage down here. Just living in garbage. Look, there's Godzilla. <laughs> an old milk bottle, an old Coke bottle. And you got all kinds of life anemones, more rockfish. There's gobies in here. Where's the goby? This is some kind of sea slug right here. Look at that thing, all purple and red. Uh huh. Okay. I think it's about time for the aviary. We'll go look at the birds. Upstairs. We're gonna look at the birds first, the aviary, and then we'll go upstairs. Yeah. Yep. Go see the birdies. The little birdies. 
Oh, we're just looking around. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a pool over there. The aviary is around from this way. Cool, if you want to cool. come in here, we'll get you in. Oh, okay. We can get you in there. I want to get my group together. Let's see. Robbie, let's go see the aviary. Oh, we got all our shore, buddy. Right on. Lanier, Shannon. Oh, you guys are eating? Okay. All right, uh, we're just gonna go in here and then we'll come get you. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go in here and then we'll come out and meet you. Okay. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Right on. Let's see this stuff. These are the clams we were looking at earlier. The gaper clam. See, there's the shell, and it's got this long neck that goes up to the top. And then there are these birds with long beaks. Cool. They're trying to get them. Let's see, Robbie. Oh, and then there's the a curlew. We're looking for little lobster type critters in there. The innkeeper worm. So they dig little tunnels like this in the sand. And if you're ever at the beach, you see these little holes in the top. That's where the clams poke through. And then the birds are looking for those. So they'll eat the clams. 